look at it, dude. There it is. Oh, that's cool. All right, so here's what's going on. We want a truck. In fact, we want a Blazer, actually, a K5 Blazer. Mopars 5150 put out a contest a while back. I'll insert in the uh, video right here. What's up, guys? My name is Ken Mahoy, and this is my submission to the Mopars 5150 Christmas giveaway. I'm a US Air Force retired combat vet with multiple deployments downrange to exotic desert locations. Now I spend my days in the garage here with my youngest son, building cars like this. Uh, we're entering the win, the 1976 Chevy Blazer, for a couple reasons. One is because my grandfather owned three of them brand new when I was a kid. I have a ton of fond memories riding around in them. But the primary reason is because my son and I, in the process of building this car, my son found his passion for welding and he's decided to start his own mobile welding business. And he needs a truck. Uh, he's on a budget, starting out from scratch. Uh, he's not even graduated high school yet but he is looking for something to put his welding gear in the back of and this would be the perfect fit. Uh, plans are to LS swap it, overdrive it, make it reliable, leave the patina, but put some custom lettering down the side um, and then obviously outfit it with all the welding gear that he needs for a mobile business. So thank you guys for your consideration. This is an awesome contest and we'll talk to you later. And the driver just called and said he's on his way and we're gonna go meet him. He can't come down our driveway because it's a mess. He's too long to reach around the corner. So we're gonna drive about a mile up the road, go meet the guy. You get to go see your truck for the first time. Yeah. Here we go. He's a big old truck. I thought he was like a, like a Ford F-350 or something. Nope, he's... He's a big old boy. He looks a bit smaller. Wow. Well, he definitely wouldn't have made it down our driveway. Yeah. I don't see the truck though. Nope. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Did you catch a glimpse of it? Yep. All right, I'm gonna get out of his way. I'll park in the mud so he doesn't get stuck. Oh, look at it, dude. There it is. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, my goodness. First impressions? It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool, all right. A little bit of rust. Rocker's got a lot of rust. Door's definitely out of alignment. They told me it was hanging there just a little bit. I can't figure out this paint. Yeah, I don't know. I, something got put over top and just shrank. I don't even understand how. Oh, look at that. Door's dented. That's dented. <laughs> She's gonna require a little bit of work. Can I get some pictures? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, man. Checking it over. <laughs> yeah, she needs some love. All right, we're gonna fire this thing up. Take two. Yeah. All right, we're gonna look inside for the first time. Oh, look at that! Yeah. He said, "Be careful when you step in here." <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a Fred Flintstone, but we knew that. Somebody tried to steal it, so yeah. the column's all messed up. We knew yeah. about that too. Uh, can you turn and turn signal off? No. It's Yeah, it might be. Rump on the 
gas real quick. Bring it idle down. There you go. Ooh, wow, this thing, what did it do? Did it melt or yeah, what? Like wow. Oh, well, yeah, it's a New Mexico sun. Yeah. Windows all cracked. I love blazer seats, man. The old low back buckets. Yourself, can you? No. Yeah. No, this is fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 
way uh, cool. Some work. Yeah. I'm taking home. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It looks so cool from behind even. Yeah, go ahead and pull it in. You're good, right there. <laughs> well, that didn't take long to get dirty. Yeah. I... It's got like everything wrong with it, but I still love it. Yeah, it's cool. It's very cool. Something smells hot. Yeah. I could smell you when I was riding behind you. Oh, really? Yeah. Smell Something smells out. really hot. That should, uh, if I remember right, this down. picks up. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Fresh rebuild. Yeah. So this used to have a 404 barrel. This mm -hmm. is now just a 352 barrel. Yep. Looks like it's got some miles on it. But it's all there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it used to be an AC truck. It's not hooked up. <laughs> but I mean, come on. It's fine. Yeah. Even if it was hooked up, what would you expect it to work? Not exactly. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Power brakes. Spongy, but power brakes. Yeah. Oh, there's your original color. That ain't looking bad. Yeah. I don't know what they did on the outside here. Wherever they painted on here, yeah, it's like shrunk really badly and then just cracked. Look at this. I don't. I don't get it. Like what? What, what would cracks, cause that? Yeah, what cracks like that? I don't know. Well, true. It's probably just the heat. Yep, side's completely covered in mud now, thanks to going down our driveway. But honestly, it, yeah, it actually it kind yeah. of came through the floorboard too. So. Oh, did it? <laughs> did you get a little wet inside? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you're, co you're covered in mud. Yep. Man. So, a little more room in this engine bay, huh? Just a little. Than a Monza? Just a little. Yeah. You could actually climb inside this engine bay. In fact, sometimes you have to to work on things. Yeah. I smell antifreeze. Yeah. That's what I was just Yeah. For. Hmm. It's not leaking anything. So, we got halo headlights. When you turn a truck on, one halo comes on, one yeah. does not. Let me try the headlight switch. See yeah, see if they actually work. Um, one parking light's out. Yeah. It's the halo. Halo never did come on, though. Okay. It's got separate wiring for that, though, so it may just be disconnected. Yeah. Let me check the rear. Well, your tail lights work. The brake lights work. Oh yeah. Yep, they both work. Cool. Awesome. Oh, you got a trailer hitch. Bonus. I did not know it came with that. Oh, awesome. All right. Hey. Nice. All right. 
Let's see if I remember how to open this thing up. It should, it opens up. Oh yeah, this is the old, it's the crank. It usually cranks the window down. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's connected. No, oops, sorry. camera wasn't on it. But yeah, it's not, uh, and how, I don't remember how to open this. This is pretty bad. I don't, I didn't ever open the one on Papaw's. I just saw him do it. I never, of course that was how many years ago? Mid seventies, late seventies. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a cool contraption, but we don't remember how to use it. I mean, I know it pivots out. You got to roll the window down first before you can, because you don't want to bring it down with the window. Of course, it's also sealed up here too, so you want to bring it down. Right, so it doesn't sound like the window is going to come down. Oh, that's not, not doing oh, anything. Oh, there's jugs in there. Oh, wow, we got quite a load. Yeah, that's pretty revealing, isn't it? Lots of antifreeze, lots of oil. Yeah. Uh, there's even an extra dipstick. I hope the drive shaft for the front drive shaft's in there because it's not connected. And, and, and antifreeze. Okay. And the drive shaft. Is the drive shaft back yep, there? Drive oh, good. Here. All right. Well, good. Yep. Wow. So that's a lot of load. I guess this thing slides forward. I can play with it later. And the detail brush kit. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Tell they didn't use it. <laughs> yeah, I I think the last thing this needs is to be detailed. Okay, but the speaker's right there. That's where it's coming from. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's one down here. Oops, yeah. can't see it, but yeah. I don't really want to open the back because the window doesn't roll down. Yeah, yeah. I'll, we'll do a little research and figure out how that goes down. Yeah. It's already partially down now. You can see there's a gap at the top of the window there. Oh, this is just cool. Isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine no, being a young kid right in the back here with your grandparents? They're like raised back here too. That's cool. Yeah, it's like stadium, stadium or uh, auditorium seating yeah. where you sit higher in the there's back so and you can windows. see over the heads of people up front. Yeah. Got a lot of tint. Yeah, that's not factory though. No, somebody put on some cheap purple tint in here. Yeah, there's not much I care about improving on this now, but at some point I would love to get that crappy tint off of here. Yeah, horn button's gone. Steering wheel was just well, because yeah, that's right, because they busted it open. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, we got to take that back off again anyway to rebuild that column. Actually, we need to find a... They really tore that up. Yeah, yeah. We need to get a new column. Yeah. That metal is just... That's sharp. Yeah, yeah pretty bad. Can't get over this, man. This thing literally just melted in the New Mexico sun. Yeah. That's crazy. I've never seen a dash pad do that. I love the interior of a square body. So many memories. My dad's truck, Papaw's blazers. Boy, that windshield is seeing better days too. I, you can't really see it in the camera, but it's cracked here, 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 all the way up there. Yeah. Um, do these things work? They won't. Yeah, they seem like they're okay. Oh. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's a lot of dust. <laughs> New Mexico dust. Yeah. Man. This is just beyond cool. Really is. Yeah. This is a fun vehicle. Yeah. I don't it even is. care what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Creaky door. I'm sitting in the back of the blazer. Yeah. <laughs> just like I did when I was a kid. This is such a weird feeling to be looking at the front of the truck from uh -huh. back here. Want to take it for a test drive and ride in? I think we should. Yes. Sure. I think we should. Call bibs on driving. Heck yeah, man! I'll ride. I might even ride in the back.
<laughs> back, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ride here in the back. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get the door though. Oh, yeah. I can't reach it. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I gotta reach up here. Uh, yeah, of course it wants to stick. All right. Take me for a ride, Dad. I'm just going to kick back here. Kick back my race. Yeah, it does. Carbureted small block. Yeah. Remember those days? <laughs> yeah. This gets right there. Kind of have miles for a while. Yeah. It's a nice short wheelbase. Yeah. It's not too bad turning around. Turn the headlights on. Oh, yeah. Portion of the floor. Oh, can you? Yeah. Is it going to splash up inside? It might. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long it's been since I filmed the first portion of this video, but I really thought we would give you a walk around of it before I finished it, and I never really got around to it. So today's the day. It's in the garage here. We're working on it right now, trying to make it roadworthy because it's a little bit colder than it was the last time we were out here working on it. And it's about to be Nathaniel's winter beater as soon as we get some things fixed. So let me show you around. First of all, look at that lovely patina. We actually kind of like it. We've been able to determine that the truck used to be a blue and white two-tone. And I can't really tell what happened. It looks like they spray painted it blue and then primered it. And then there's some parts of the truck that look like it was even rolled on. And then the New Mexico sun just kind of got to it. Even the top was painted black. It used to be white. The interior used to be blue, but it was spray painted black, except for the dash pad. I don't, I don't know how they repaired those cracks, <laughs> but then they spray painted it blue. Um, yeah, hang on a second, bud. We're doing some electrical testing at the moment. Running lights are on right now. Okay, one light's out. So, checking brakes, checking wheel bearings, checking lights. Just the running lights? Oh, sorry. Okay. Try that. All right, anyway, uh, at one point before we got it, someone tried to steal this and broke up the column. This was all broken up. Um, right now we're just gonna fix the old column. I'll try to find a new column for it later, but this new part's on its way. The cam was broken as well. Um, check out the interior. It's got a nice cloth for lure interior. It's a little, you know, a little worn out, but it's a 76. That's what's what you get. 
the rear axle, uh, rear diff had, um, let's just call it just a teeny little bit of milkshake in it. There really wasn't any diff fluid back there at all. And one of the uh, axle seals over here was pretty bad. This was all covered in, in uh, diff fluid. In fact, you can even see inside the drum, it was just completely covered in it. So when I pulled the diff cover, that's when we discovered uh, that we've got a little more work to do. The other issue is I can't get, oh, well, that's great. I can't get the C-clip out for this side. And this is the side that actually has the really bad axle seal. So that's something we're fighting right now. But again, look at this. Every panel is, I don't know. I, it looks like it's been off-roading quite a bit, which... What's that? <laughs> Maybe. The original 400 small block was taken out as well and replaced with a 352 barrel. That's fine. It runs fine, although the carburetor needs uh, adjusting quite a bit. Yeah, but um, it does seem to be okay. We just got a new resistor in here, so we actually have a, work a heater, motor. a working heater, and um, blower motor now. It's on right now, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, we're hoping to get this uh, back out of the garage here in the next couple of days. Uh, depending on how long it takes me to fix that rear axle. What's that, bud? Found the horn. Right here. Horn's right there? Yeah. Does it work? I don't know. Oh. Why not? Uh, we didn't even no have a horn button on this no thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't need a horn. Anyhow, we're extremely grateful to the guys at Mopar's 5150. Um, this, the original intent of this was to make it into a welding vehicle for Nathaniel. Since we won this and uh, had it delivered to the house, as you guys saw earlier in the video, Nathaniel saved his money and um, actually got himself a really nice Miller Multimatic uh, 220 welder. So he's equipped. We're actually trying to get the four wheel drive working as well, because I have a snow blade potentially for this as well. So he can do a little work on the side in the winter time when he's not welding. So, Anyway, lots of potential. Just got to get it roadworthy and safe so that Nathaniel can drive it this winter. Thanks again to the guys at Mopar's 5150. We are eternally grateful for that. We just need to get ready for the road and then we're going to enjoy the heck out of this thing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We always appreciate you and we'll talk to you later. Take care.